A new exhibit opened today at the Minnesota History Center highlighting the resilience and strength of Minnesota's indigenous communities. Our Pufui Yang shares the stories it captures. A photo is worth a thousand words. So this is an uh, image. What you're looking at here is a story and an image of Bonnie Wallace. Bonnie Wallace was a young Native American woman documenting her struggles in the Twin Cities. No resources, no spaces, um, housing was hard. Her pain turned into a purpose, paving the way for other women. Today, her picture and dozens of others line the gallery walls in the Reframing Our Stories exhibit. It showcases the strength of Native communities. Addressing a lot of social issues that still exist today, but also a lot of joy and happiness and resiliency were revealed through these photos. Amber Annis, director of Native American Initiatives at the Minnesota Historical Society, says over 100 Native nations are represented in the Twin City. These are just a few of the many decades-old photographs taken by journalists and photographers. Some of the curators and collections started to go through and came across folders that said Indians on them. The discovery inspired a journey that was years in the making to identify the images and tell the stories behind it. There was a lot of power in seeing folks sitting down together laughing, telling stories, um, remembering, recalling, and also identifying. It's new meaning to old photos now in the hands of Indigenous people. This is a reminder of how important it is that community members are looking at these archives, looking at these collections, and most importantly, that we're telling our own stories. It's a way to connect the past to the present, highlighting the memories of the Native community. Now, if you're interested in seeing the exhibit, it will be here for two years. You can get your tickets online and in person, and we'll have a link for you on our website at kstp.com. In St. Paul, Pafoyang, 5 Eyewitness News.